Welcome back to the UX Design Show. I am your host, Emmanuel Johnson Jr. And today, I got some new UX news for you guys that's happened over the course from last week to this week. So let's get started. Start off with Envision. Envision dropped another bomb on us. Even though they want us to get ready for the Envision Studio app that's gonna drop January 2018 for early access, they dropped a brand new video last week showcasing the Design System Manager. This is basically going to be uh, the GitHub for designers, right? You'll be able to design symbols, graphics, animations. You'll be able to pull those changes down. And also, too, the best part about this is going to have a Zeppelin-like feature. Zeppelin.io, check it out. It's a really cool uh, application, web-based application that takes all of your designs from Sketch and make them into a style guide. So that's really, really neat. And we're basically going to get the same thing here, but the difference is Anytime this has been done, it's always been in separate applications. This is all going to be in one application, one, one application, and that's Envision Studio. You'll be able to design, prototype, and have all of your files and versions of that file in a single file. It's pretty good, and that's a lot of files. So anyway, I love it. I got the clip playing, and you should check that out. I'm going to have a link in the description and below so that you can check out both videos. Uh, the second video I'm referring to is the speed art type of video. Uh, I believe Norm Bliss uh, is a designer for designbetter.co. Uh, they put together an app for their website, of course, and uh, they kind of did a speed art thing where basically they're designing and it speeds through the design. So you can check that out. It looks really, really cool how it goes from design to prototyping to actually viewing and previewing the actual app itself. So it's really, really neat. Check that out. The other news that I got for you guys is Zeppelin. Zeppelin dropped two things on us over the last week or so. One, they revised the Windows app. The Windows 1.0 app has been revised, so it works a lot better and it works a lot smoother. For a lot of you who are Mac users, I am not one. I use the Macs if I have to, uh, depending on the client, things of that nature. But for most times when I'm at home, I got my PC, I got my Logitech mouse, which uh, I'm, I'm sad to say this. Uh, my original baby passed away. Um, I had to cut away from the news for a second. I apologize. This is this is my new Logitech mouse. It's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, my old one, because I just refuse to get rid of it, is here. I've had it since 2008. It finally died on me. Uh, it's been all over the world with me. I love this mouse, so it's gonna stay right here behind me because it's so awesome but back to the news yes i have replaced it with its grandson because i think this is like the second or third version up anyway that's not the point zeppelin back to them revise that windows app i am very much a pc person I, of course i use max because i'm a designer i can't help but use max but i love pcs at home so they redid the windows app the other thing they did they also have been working for the last year or so on integration with Figma. Figma is a really cool application. I haven't had a chance to play with it a lot. Um, I just came across Figma about six months ago, so I haven't had a whole lot of interaction with it, but I hear it's really good, so I'm about to get into it. But uh, Zeppelin.io, the program I told you about before, uh, has integration now with it, so you can pass your screens from Figma to Zeppelin, which is really cool because that's what you do with Sketch. If you have Sketch files and you design inside Sketch, you pass them to Zeppelin. Zeppelin then extrapolates from everything that you have in your design files and you can uh, let people know what the buttons are, the colors are. It'll also give you code snippets. It's really, really good. But uh, all of that may be for none when you think about the fact that uh, Envision Studio is trying to very boldly put all of those different services into one application. Um, I'm really interested to see how well it works. Uh, does it feel like a design program? Because that's really big for me. Uh, it actually feeling like a design program. And then the rapid prototyping and the animations. I hope that's really, really easy to use. I'm also gonna drop another video to talk about what feature I think is missing from all of these different applications that only one of them have that I would like to see in more applications and in future applications like Envision, like Envision Studio. So tell me what you think below uh, about the fact that they keep dropping information 
for uh, Envision. I think it's really, really good. Also, the last little bit of news about that, it drops December 2018. So it sounds like we're gonna get the um, design system manager before we get the actual full application. Um, that may be significant as to why they're giving us that first before they give us the full app. Um, it's really important for teams to keep themselves organized. So I think that might end up being a better way of selling the application to start off with, this is how you organize yourself. And then giving us the thing in January that says, this is how you design a prototype. So that may be important the way they're kind of presenting this to us. But that's all I got for you guys today. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. Hit me up on Twitter. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the UX Design Show. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.